Good morning. How strong is our Redeemer? Our reading comes from Jeremiah chapter 50, verses 33 and 34 today. Thus says the Lord of hosts, The children of Israel were oppressed, along with the children of Judah. All who took them captive have held them fast. They have refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He will thoroughly plead their case, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. How strong is our Redeemer? Well, he better be pretty strong because the opponents of God's people were able to oppress them. Those who took them captive held them fast. I hope you know what the Redeemer is biblically. He's the Goel. He's the family member charged with avenging a murder. That's Numbers 35 if you want to look it up. He's the family member who's charged with uh, if somebody has to sell themselves into servitude to pay a debt. This is the guy who would be responsible to buy them back out of servitude. You know, like Leviticus 25, Ruth 3, Ruth 4, some of those chapters. So the Avenger or the Revenger or the Redeemer, those are some of the ways it's translated. He was the family member. And by the way, it wasn't like it is today. The, when something happened to your family member there, you didn't just call the police and fill out a report. You had to go and address it. You had to strap on your weapon and go and take care of that. So for better or worse, things were a little bit different then. And there was a lot more family responsibility connected to it. The Redeemer was divinely tasked to avenge and to restore. And those are things that God does for us. God is our Redeemer. Jesus, in particular, functions as our Redeemer. He's the one who buys us back from our oppression. And I like the way it says it here. He thoroughly pleads the case of for God's people. You see, Jesus is our advocate. He's our close family member. He's the one who would stand up for us. He delivers his people from bondage. You know, we're not able to deliver ourselves, but he, he is able, he is strong, so very much stronger than we ever would be. He's the one that can buy us back, and he buys us back at the cross. We should not forget the strength of our Redeemer. He is for us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we are thankful for Jesus, that he's our family member. He buys us back. He helps us with things that we could never, ever, ever get out of that we've gotten ourselves into. Oh, Lord, thank you for Jesus. May his blessing be with us as we continue to serve. May he be our Goel. May he be our Redeemer. He is strong. He is very strong. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. So Jesus is our Redeemer. He made the universe, and he's making free the universe. God be with you today.